Taha sir, can we begin now? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. First of all, welcome all of the presentees and welcome Bupendra, Bupendra sir. We are happy to have you on this platform. Uh, I would like to uh, uh, share an introduction of uh, architect Bupendra Salodia. He is a change maker, passionate about climate and social reform so that we can make our cities more livable. He studied architecture and urban planning, has a diverse experience of nine years in architecture and planning domain. Uh, currently, he is working with on the topics like sustainable, resilient, and kid-friendly cities. He will be sharing his talk about uh, tactical urbanism in Indian context. So this is the formal welcome in this platform. And I would like to give this platform to Pallai ma'am so she can also share his her view. Yes. Uh, a very warm welcome to you, uh, Bhupendra sir. And I'm really delighted that uh, this series of urban planning has been worked out for our college uh, today. And uh, basically, uh, it is going to benefit our students who are attempting urban design or an urban insert studio in their final year. And uh, of course, uh, I am very happy on the efforts of uh, Professor Taha Padrawala, who has uh, managed to get all three of you here on this platform. And I am uh, sure that uh, your inputs will be ben very beneficial to the students. And I welcome one and all present on this platform of uh, this webinar. This pandemic has been really helpful to us, uh, at least in this uh, uh, means that we are able to share this knowledge uh, in a very smooth way. So I just give the platform to you, sir. And our, uh, Taha, sir, is playing the video of our college. The other uh, people, participants present, can know some activities of our college. Thank you. Bupendra, you can share your screen and start the presentation. The platform is yours now. I would request all the participants to keep their video and audio off so we all can listen to his talk. Uh, hello, all. Hello, uh, Taha, and hello, Pallavi, ma'am. So I would like to thank you, uh, Taha, Taha, and uh, SVIT to give me this opportunity to uh, give a presentation and uh, uh, 
uh, showcase my learning about the tactical urbanism and the project. So I uh, would like to say about Taha, uh, he is a very good friend and uh, he is very uh, hardworking person with good knowledge. And uh, I can say uh, you have a diamond in your institute. So uh, <laughs> uh, I would also like to uh, thank Taha. Thank you, thank you, sir. Uh, 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 to honor me with the word, uh, with the word change maker. So uh, um, I'm just uh, doing little, little things uh, to uh, make the, this um, uh, uh, society livable and uh, uh, the, um, the place where I'm living livable. So uh, uh, now I uh, want to start the presentation and uh, uh, discuss with uh, you and share the learnings with you, all the uh, people who joined today. So... Um, <coughs> One minute. Hello. Yes, it's visible. Yes, 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 it's visible. So, uh, sorry for the inconvenience. You can start now. Yeah, your platform is yours, sir. Learning from uh, we did and project in Udaipur, the uh, project name is Urban Enterprise. I will uh, discuss the detail uh, later with you. So, uh, myself, Gopin Salogia, and uh, I am an architect, urban planner, as Taha said, and a uh, uh, senior project officer in Ikle South Asia and uh, a deputy at Municipal Corporation Udaipur. So, uh, we uh, did some projects with corporation last year. So uh, we can uh, we, um, start the uh, session now. So uh, first, I would like to ask uh, uh, why I do uh, why we do any analysis and study or uh, study or planning. Uh, so uh, <laughs> definitely, I, all, I I need to give the answer only because this is not the uh, workshop. Uh, so. No, definitely to identify uh, uh, problems and uh, final uh, find the solution uh, solutions for that. So this is the main reason behind uh, do any analysis and study or uh, any planning. So uh, I uh, told here that uh, some words like problem and solution. So what are these problem and solution? So problem can be anything. X Y Z is a problem. Just, you know, just like uh, this white shirt guy having a problem to uh, reach out some place where this vertical road is going. So uh, the solution can be bankable, pilot, or tactical. So what is the difference between uh, this? Is, these are the most probable solutions. Solutions uh, are also can be anything, but these are the most probable. The, the way uh, we are thinking about the solutions. These are bankable, project, uh, pilot, and uh, tacticals. So uh, what is the main difference between all these uh, three kind of solutions? So bankable, uh, definitely uh, it is a, a larger scale project. So uh, no, there is a, a difference of scale, uh, the money and the uh, resources. And pilot, uh, little money, uh, uh, sorry, small money, uh, small resources and the small scale. And uh, about the tactical, we can say very less money and very less resources. So uh, this is the basic uh, difference between uh, these kind of solutions. So let's start the discussion on uh, tactical urbanism. So I would like to uh, first talk about what is tactical and what is urbanism. So ta tactical will start uh, start with the uh, with the word tactics. So tactics is an action or a strategy uh, carefully planned to achieve a, a specific end. So just like uh, you've seen in the image below, and urbanism, and that is urban, and uh, uh, the other word is ism. So means the way of life characteristics of the city and the town and is a system way of living a way of life or ideology mm. so now the question is what is uh, tactical urbanism, urbanism urbanism now so tactical urbanism uh, is all about the actions and if we uh, want to define it so Mr. Uh, Lloyd and uh, Gracia define it very well. These, these are the urban planners and they also uh, published their book on tactical urbanism. So they uh, are saying that an approach to a uh, neighborhood building using short term, low cost and uh, scalable interventions and the uh, policies. So in my point of view, the same tactical urbanism is short term action for a long term change. But 
uh, we have to think little uh, more here that it is not about the uh, beautification of street only so as i uh, showcase a picture here uh, there is a pole and two uh, little uh, sign in sign in sign boards are here so uh, simply somebody uh, uh, wrote there that 16 minute to walk uh, to the seaboard station or from the 17 minute to the somewhere else also so this is a little uh, small intervention small uh, tactical thing which can uh, change a uh, change change a change a uh, larger uh, larger scale or uh, larger community and minds mindset also so uh, now uh, i want to uh, discuss that uh, why why tactical urbanism is so important uh, how much potential uh, this what tactical urbanism is having and uh, where we can we can uh, we use uh, this tactical interventions so the strength is it is a low cost definitely it is a low cost solution uh, temporary you can easily rectify it or you can easily revise this uh, easy way to address common problems easy to do strategic solutions scalable it is scalable also after the outcomes you can easily scale uh, scale this to a bankable or a uh, pilot also and easy to get approval from the local government um, as you all understand the local government is uh, municipal corporations municipal municipalities uh, so all these are uh, behind the financial aspect of, the, of any kind of project so uh, how much money is going to uh, put in any kind of project so they are always concern is about the money only so we can, uh, uh, anybody can uh, show the outcome of the in intervention the outcome of the tactical with this easy approach uh, imp it can impact communities directly because um, we also involve communities in tacticals uh, this is an ab adaptive tool for uh, self distancing so there is a chance of covid 19 uh, also so for the covid 19 also so uh, just uh, i want to utter some examples for uh, where we can use uh, uh this uh, tactical urbanism or tactical solutions so definitely on uh, city streets roads sidewalks uh, re uh, renovation signage addition neighborhoods park neighborhood open spaces and many places we can do this uh, just like show be in behind image that uh, uh, this is a uh, cycle track but it is just a uh, regular uh, marking and uh, just a regular uh, boulders demarcation so we can uh, see after some two three days or after a month ago that uh, what is what what we achieved um, by doing the, that so um, there is this is a theory too much so now uh, let's understand with some practical examples so uh, uh, i would like to introduce you to uh, you with the project urban 95 so this is a project uh, which funded by uh, which supported by bernard van Leer foundation and municipal corporation udaipur and our organization ekle south asia is a technical partner in this uh, and uh, the design and implementation team i also uh, like to uh, introduce them uh, from the ekle south asia we are four people here you can talk uh, the, he is also your svit uh, alumni uh, me, myself, Bhupendra Salogya, Rahul Rati, Akhilesh Nak, and the students of Vidya Bhavan, BAD students who help us uh, to implement this tactical on the ground. So this is Vidya Bhavan pre-primary school entrance. Uh, you can see these three images are here. And the theme is to make the road movement safe for kids and caregivers. So basically, Urban 95 theme is uh, make the cities ITCN friendly. When I, I say ITCN, so it is infant, toddler, caregiver, uh, and neighborhood friendly interventions. So uh, by this, uh, by, th by this, by this uh, presentation, by this presentation, uh, and by this uh, case study, uh, <coughs> Through this example, I want to uh, make you all uh, under understand about the uh, various process uh, involved. How to do a tactical? How to select a tactical? How to select a site? Uh, how to check uh, or uh, um, find out a strategic solution? Um, how to uh, check the post implementation? So all these are uh, I will explain with this example. 
so and these are uh, some two three tacticals also but uh, as we have uh, limited time so i am showcasing one only so first is identification of strategic location so it is very important to uh, see where we need to uh, do this tactical where we need need to uh, showcase this tactical to the government to the communities and to the uh, other uh, departments also so uh, if we if i talk about the udaipur so just in other um, uh, a uh, normal idea so uh, udaipur is a population having five around 5 lakhs uh, there is a uh, this is a um, old world map uh, now 70 or wards are here and uh, the area of city is 64 km square so first we look at uh, the wards where we can uh, uh where we can the, uh, do these tacticals so i'm not going to uh, i'm not going in the details of the uh, selection of this ward uh, because it is a systematic process and uh, uh, i just giving an idea here uh, we do a weighted uh, analysis for to select to finalize this ward okay uh, so here you can uh, see the ward number 3 the ward number 3 is uh, the ward where we uh, where i am showing this uh, this tactical and we did this tactical tactical so uh, first we analyze the uh, land use zoning of uh, uh, ward number 3 so you can see uh, here different colors like uh, yellow for the residential blue is the institutional and uh, commercial also so after after analyze the uh, after analyze the land use you have to decide the boundary line of your wards and uh, um, definitely this is a intervention for road safety so you have to uh, see uh, the major road minor road and the other road also where you can um, check that uh, you can do a tactical here or not so um, we analyzed uh, transportation network it is very important uh this is the vidya bhavan road where uh, in the next slide i want to uh, uh show uh, more on the tactical and uh, you can see this uh, we identify the major junctions minor junctions auto stands pedestrian routes internal routes major roads cycle stands and parking all the uh, transport oriented interventions are here network interventions are here so <coughs> uh the next step is uh, you have to do a activity mapping Act activity mapping is uh, just a simple that uh, where are the different activities are located in your area where you are going to do uh, the tactical exercise so these are a uh, list of activities and uh, symbols are there so now uh, now 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 is the time to see the potential site for the tactical intervention so i will tell you the reason in uh, next slide so this red block uh, you can see the red rectangle here so this is the uh, vidya bhavan campus where we did the tactical so these are uh, some reason behind uh, selection of these sites so um, you can also read out uh, there vidya bhavan road is a uh, road segment between fatehpura circle to dewali circle uh, so this is from here to here uh this is a 1.2 km undivided road the so undivided road you all know this is very risky in point of view of the kids and um, the elders also uh so um, right of way is 7.5 meter it is a definitely a wide road and there is a uh, 1 meter footpath also on the uh, other side of the road so footpath is narrow discontinued uh, broken and the uh, there are uh, some trees on the footpath signage signage and poles uh footpath also had a uh, decorative ms railing but um, uh, it is discontinued and um, broken so uh there 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 are there are a educational society there are a educational hub where are pre primary school primary school secondary school polytechnic college and uh, other uh, little and small schools and uh, anganwadis also uh, are also there so this is the main reason uh, behind selection of uh, this uh, road or this location so if i am talking about itcn the infant toddler uh, friendly so there is a primary school this is definitely is a uh, big and fast road the broader road and uh, uh, as i said uh, there is a 
फूड पाथ रोड्स एंड अदर साइनेज ट्रीज ऑल्सो आर देयर बट देर आर नॉन डेलीपेटेड कंडीशन सो so uh, there are many issues also uh, also there so uh, in the perspective of IT, uh, itcn it is a very important and st- strategic site for uh, do and tactical and showcase uh, the um, potential of this uh, uh, strategic solution so to uh, th- this is a transport oriented uh, uh, solution so um, here uh, you have to do a traffic count also there so uh, you can see there are walking people are 105 cycles are 5 this is this is in duration of 15 minute only there is a uh, focusable point the 15 minute duration survey is only so five cycles for 42 autos two wheeler are 338 four wheelers are 94 buses are 9 and trucks are 8 so in 15 minute these kind of vehicles are uh, passing through this road so you can uh, see how much uh, uh, how much traffic on this road and uh, uh, how much unsafe this road uh, is for the um, primary school kids especially for the uh, smaller one 0 to 5 years anganwadi and uh, the pre primary school kids so this is this 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 is a uh, this is this is a major uh, this is a major uh, backup for uh, to 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 decide uh, this side as a uh, tactical intervention so uh, for that for to decide uh, to decide the site you have to do surveys like this so this is the exi- existing condition uh, you can check there that uh, this yellow these yellow are signages this red dots are human uh, this um, some dark color is in formal vendor and the arrow is the uh, pedestrian flow so, and these are two entries so uh, kids movement are like this this and this this is the kid movement and this is maybe their parents or their caregiver movement their faculty's movement and these all our vehicle it can be uh, illegal parking or it can be uh, therefore uh, uh, just to take their kids from the schools after the uh, leave so uh, so after the uh, after after the after the after a uh, documentation you have to uh see how much uh indi- indicators are missing so where uh, when i am saying indicators indicators means uh, related to your uh, tactical intervention or tactical urbanism your uh, your scope so in our case this is an itcn indicator so park uh, you can see this uh green is the uh, tree line and below the below below this tree line this is parking outside school gate so you can see in this uh, second uh, picture this is a heavy pedestrian uh, movement uh, in an outflow and a vehicle movement is also there and you can see in front of the entry there is a discontinued uh, footpath and no uh, proper infrastructure are there also there i um, mean just like uh, uh, how we planning in india uh, there is a zebra crossing and uh, there is a transformer blocking the zebra crossing Uh, these are some uh, parking over there this uh, this is some light pole there and there is zebra crossing is there and uh, this is a light pole in between the pedestrian and this is the uh, elevated infrastructure over uh, pedestrian so all these all these all these study uh, tells you about that this is the best site to do a uh, uh to do the tactical uh, solution so um, i think you now understand that uh, how we uh, can, how we can decide uh that where we can plan that where, where, where what is the potential site for any inter- intervention so uh the next slide is for the line out strategic solution proposal then uh, you selected the site and uh, now you decided the, your strategic solution that uh, um, what Uh, is going to work here so uh, i would like to say this is not a single tactical it is a uh, club of tactical so why i am saying that so in the solution you can see there is there uh, there are some circles where something written for the uh, um, for, for for the uh, buffer zone 
first is there is there is zigzag line the yellow one this is the zigzag line and uh, it is a traffic coming measure uh, 50 meter towards the both end of the uh, this main entry uh number 4 is uh, as i said this is a waiting area this one signage so number 7 is the signage in this there are the signage of school um that uh, the signage uh, will show you, uh, will say you to uh, uh, your speed limit and slow down your vehicle number 10 is a uh, pattern on existing zebra line number 10 is there so this is the number 10 this is the number 10 so definitely tactical intervention is to beautify your urban area also so we just uh, try to do some uh, piano thing in this um, in this um, uh, zebra line so uh, second is the stop sign is this is the stop sign is so these are the uh, large hand marks so uh, from the 100 meters away anyone can see and slow down his vehicle i will save guarding of uh, transformer as i uh, seen uh, in the uh, first previous analysis uh, there is a transformer here so save guarding of tra transformer is also can be a single tactical so this is the overhanging size, sign is 8 and uh, 11 is the proposed zebra crossing this is the proposed zebra crossing uh, near the uh, near the entry because the uh, previous zebra crossing was there but in front some there is in front of uh, uh, an, an electrical pole or in front of a uh, transformer so we just near down the zebra crossings here uh there is a keep clear box i think you are aware about the keep clear box the keep clear box concept is uh, uh, not so indigenous it is uh, from some uh, foreign country so keep clear box means uh, you have to you can't uh, stop your vehicle here uh six number is the pattern on footpath and uh, nine is highlighting the school entrance that is a uh, very important i uh, think to highlight this school entrance uh, so that anyone can uh, see uh, the entrance from the far away and 12 is the bollard so these dots are the bollards to space making and to uh, secure your buffer okay so in the next slide i'm going so this is uh, just an uh, overview that how a zigzag line is looking uh, how this stop symbol are looking what is the uh, zip check box look, uh, sorry the key player box look like so these are just some highlights so uh, i would like to again revise uh, because it is a very long uh, presentation so first what you did uh, traffic and pedestrian count to make the strategy or to uh, select the final uh, tactical site second is you studied site and surroundings third is uh, you did activity mapping oh sorry 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 mm, i just uh, presented it uh, wrong way so first is your site selection uh, second is activity mapping third is site and surroundings fourth is the uh, traffic and pedestrian count so after that uh, definitely uh, you uh, finalize the um, site from the concern of the stakeholders um you give the concept and ideas stakeholder consultation finalize the designing um, approve the school colleges and volunteer for the volunteers and uh, participations orientation of students uh, material pro procurement for a tactical is very important because we have to uh, make it low cost so we have to select the low cost material so there is a very limited option but you can create your options you can create your option by uh, adjoining various kind of materials and various cheap materials are available in market various uh, waste material also in available in market and after that uh, pre material procurement you can start your uh, preparation of uh, site for the intervention uh, so next is the identification of expected outcome sara humne ramayan kar liya hai uske baad mein we are here कि हम इससे क्या क्या चाहते हैं हम हमारे हम हमारे टेक्टिकल अर्बनिज्म का जो टेक्टिकल इंटरवेंशन है हम उसे क्या क्या सोचते हैं कि व्हाट विल द व्हाट विल द आउटकम आफ्टर द कंप्लीशन ऑफ दिस वन और टू डे एक्सरसाइज ओके सो फर्स्ट आउटकम इज वी थॉट वी डेफिनेटली मेकिंग देयर बफर वेटिंग एरिया 
safe for your interactive and uh, engaging for kids and their caregivers. Second is creating safe pedestrian environment. Third is uh, reducing vehicular speed uh, using innovative traffic calming measures, the uh, zigzag lines and zigzag lines and uh, uh, the key player box. Fourth is community engagement and public participation. So all three these you can see uh, these are the purely uh, uh, traffic, transport, road safety, you can say uh, these three words for them. Uh, and fourth one is community engagement. So in the starting, I uh, said there, uh, this is a very important thing, community engagement. We can uh, make a behavior change by the spectacles in the uh, community. So uh, to involve the community uh, directly. So these are the expected outcomes. And now uh, finalization of proposal, we uh, for the finalization of proposal, uh, we did various discussion with the stakeholders, stakeholders like uh, the place, uh, the government, um, the uh, school person, the uh, parents, and the other um, mm, and the other activists, or where we can say the other uh, uh, society members. So we discuss with them all. We give, we take their uh, their ideas. We give them our ideas, and uh, finally we finalize uh, uh, final finalize this plan. That what we can uh, do on that side. So this is the same because uh, we get the same ideas from the community from the uh, stakeholders also. So now uh, we are here on the ground on ground implementation. So, as I said, uh, site preparation. So definitely, you have to do uh, your site cleaning for the site preparation. So that so that uh, uh, you can see the communities and you can see you, you can uh, uh, show show the show the government a, a very clean, neat and clean, clear uh, intervention over there. So you can see all there are some doing some marking in the night and the day also. So this is the Vidya Bhavan Beard School team uh, who do this Rangarogan uh, after we draw uh, all uh, all these all these marking on the um, on this road surface. So um, in the intervention duration. Uh, municipal commissioner, uh, Udaipur mayor, and uh, uh, some senior official from traffic police also, which uh, visited their site to uh, see uh, to see the uh, how, because it is the uh, I can say it is the first tactical uh, through by the government uh, on Udaipur by the government in Udaipur. So uh, various uh, um, government people are also there to see uh, this tactical intervention. And uh, this is the uh, final uh, thing which came after uh, a 24 or you can say a 30 hours hard work. So you can see there uh, the point one is exact line up to the 50 meter of both end of the entry. Uh, second is the stop sign signages. There is uh, the stop signages. Uh, third is the keep uh, keep clear box. Fourth is the uh, buffer zone, and fifth is the uh, proposed zebra crossing. This one. So, um, and you can also see uh, here are some blue and white line differentiated for to make uh, it more safer for, for the buffer area areas and for the uh, for the buffer buffer area people and for the uh, pedestrian people. Because uh, as I said uh, previously, also that uh, the uh, pedestrian is very narrow here. So. In, in this your tactical intervention, it is very important uh, that you have the idea that why you are using these five, these 10, or this one thing over there. What you are going to achieve by uh, doing this tactical urbanism or intervention there. So uh, you can see the joyful kids are there, playful buffer zone, and uh, uh, they are waiting for their parents uh, without any hustle bustle of traffic. Uh, these are some more pictures of the intervention. There are some uh, coverage from the media, from the print media. So it is also in duration of uh, road safety, safety week. So you can see that uh, Suraksha ka jarur sandesh diya. 
there are there was some banners also for the uh, sadak suraksha we are linked to the urban 95 project which shows uh, to the president to the uh, vehic uh, the vehicular movement people uh, that uh, what is the drone uh, because because the iec is very important here you draw the lines you draw the beautification you uh, draw the colors uh, over the uh, surface it is very easy but if people is not are not aware that uh, uh, what are they what are what are they meant for so your effort will uh, nullify so uh, there is a very uh, nicely made uh, video here uh, which can uh, give you a clear idea that how uh, we did started and how we worked uh, for entire 30 hours time uh, to complete this intervention there <laughs> video here because just want to uh, mention something here so you can see these uh, pre buffer zones here and you can analyze the uh, speed of vehicles there that how uh, vehicles are slowing down uh, by seeing this zigzag line this zigzag lines are always uh, deconcentrate uh, the driver and uh, how uh, they are uh, leaving this uh, uh, pre buffer zone so it improves the uh, safety part here so i am again uh, start video for so that you can analyze by yourself <laughs> Uh, this video and uh, uh, 
uh, you can all see uh, that how uh, this tactical uh, intervention on uh, this tactical urbanism worked after the completion by the next day also without uh, doing any outreach we did the communication outreach for the next uh, 7 15 days but not the immediate after the intervention after a uh, uh, 30 year tired and uh, retiring duration so uh, so so uh, now uh, i think you can uh, you all can understand that if uh, we proposed these uh, circles here these color for circles and then what was the reason this blue line here what was the reason this stop symbol what was the reason this uh, circle what was the reason this uh, white line what is the reason so uh, reason are the same to make uh, the self protection movement and uh, for a concern of uh, kids safety so you can all uh, you can all see uh, that vehicles are running there but uh, uh, after uh, a distance from the uh, pre buffer uh, area so this works tactical uh, solutions are work, uh, work. so uh, so after the implementation uh, you have to do a post implementation as impact assessment so it it is uh, very important to check the impact and the scalability but uh, um, everyone i think everyone has in their mind that uh, uh, how can we check that so there are tools you can make the tools you can uh, uh, check with some uh, internet uh, some internet uh, uh, research or some uh, uh, library research to find out this tool so in uh, in our in in uh, in uh, reference to our uh, tactical intervention so i used photo video document we used uh, photo video documentation stakeholder interviews and discussions public interviews and discussions uh, on site observation visual observations uh, speed measuring through uh, interceptor we did uh, we also did that so uh, this is about on site photo, photo documentation so i am uh, again uh, uh, giving you uh, the brief about this uh, this the uh, this impact analysis step by step so you can clearly see this this uh, this is a before picture what was that uh, the site and this is after picture after uh, doing this intervention so you can see in the kids are here the their parents are here they are feeling very safe from uh, the uh, high moving traffic you can see in this picture the before picture uh, that how much struggle uh, not even the small kid the uh the the young the, uh, the younger or the elders also so after that you can see uh, there is a zebra crossing uh, nearby the uh, nearby the main gates of this uh, um, uh, education hub and uh, people are using this zebra crossing zebra crossing was uh, was already there but because uh, it is a very uh, it is uh, far i think uh, 20 or 25 meter far far away so people was not using that so stakeholders interview so uh, we called by superintending of police uh, to explain to explain and to give, give his ideas about uh, uh, this kind of interventions we uh, interviewed the ward councilor the ward member principal of primary uh, school uh, the additional chief engineer of uh, municipal corporation uh, assistant engineer and superintendent superintending engineer also and uh, uh, commissioner and mayor was also uh, there in the interviews so interviews of uh, uh, parents also there to to feel uh, to analyze that uh, the tactical intervention uh, works worked for them or not that uh, the just government 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 saying that we did and uh, it is okay so we also asked from the parents of uh, uh, kids there and also measure the impact after the uh, discussion after the interviews so 82% uh, uh, people who give the interview who give their comment are positive that this seems the buffer and waiting areas are engaging to the kid and safe for the kids and caregivers uh, 
75% positive for creating safe pedestrian environment and 64 for reducing vehicle speed vehicle speed uh, you all are know that uh, we are young and we are uh, always like to move our vehicle fast so it is again a five year exercise to uh, understand people that we have to low down our speed somewhere 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 in the city and uh, somewhere where uh, it is very necessary to slow our vehicle and i also would like to request all uh, you young but please uh, slow down your vehicle when you uh, see the pedestrians you, you see the cyclists you see uh, your elders and uh, elders and you see the kids over there please so uh, i also want to explain and community a purely community engagement exercise but time is less so uh, uh, i would like to see uh, i would like to uh, see this by this uh, and this this a uh, uh, video i am playing this this is this is, uh, this is uh, and this is this is a uh, delicated uh, community space you can see you can see there are uh, some houses there and this is a chalk over there so people are using uh, this chalk for parking for uh, dumping their garbage and uh, for the other uh, nuisance activities so how uh, this tactical urbanism solution modify modified this uh, uh, this community space in a in a very beautiful very useful space for kids for the uh, society for the caregivers and this is a uh, this become a good example in other uh, uh, communities also and in front of the government also that we can use this kind of negative space to uh, make them positive and make them uh, more interactive uh, spaces so uh, yes uh, i'm start this video now so this is an uh, old city area in udaipur Thank you. 
i think you all understand that uh, understood that uh, uh, how this uh, unused or this waste waste uh, space transformed in a very useful interactive space for the uh, for the for the kids and uh, for the uh, neighborhoods so this is the second example uh, uh, definitely a example of uh, community participation and uh, uh, involvement of kids and uh, other people also so you can see this the building where uh, you uh, seen previously some uh, uh, smiley some beautiful smileys was there but it is now a very beautiful area uh, after uh, this two uh, two day two day uh, two days of uh, hard work so uh, this these tacticals are a showcase to the society to the government this tactical help and this tactical helps you uh, to showcase them that uh things can be doable these kind of things can uh, can uh, doable we can do uh, we can do we can change we can uh, create something so uh this is all uh, about these two examples the process uh, why this is important how uh, you get the uh, results and how uh, you um, check the impact of your tactical solution your tactical ul exercise of um, uh, your tactical urbanism exercise so uh, i am also working in the climate change field so i would uh, like to request you all uh, through this platform uh, to make your cities uh, livable by start doing walking or cycling for your uh, daily short trips you you can reduce an enormous amount of pollution greenhouse gas emission and carbon foot footprint and you can also uh, stay fit by doing that so save your uh, world from adverse effect of climate change please start doing something start uh, think about that yes thank you uh, for the more information you can uh, reach out to me uh, by these uh, two mail ids or to taha also i am already available for all uh, you participate participants and now uh, you can ask if you have any question in your mind uh, i have a uh, Five ten minutes, I think more uh, before. Going. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, thank you so much for your uh, very uh, sensitive, down to earth, simple presentation. And we could really feel that how a space could transform by such small interventions. Now uh, I'm seeing a few questions, sir. So uh, we can start by one of our student Kajal Rai's question. uh that uh, what was the psychological derivation of those uh, irregular shapes lines and patterns and basically how those shapes were derived the student is trying to ask you was there some philosophy behind it uh yes sir so i think this is question for the first intervention with her own intervention i think yes yes it was regarding the first intervention it is about the zigzag line especially Yes, uh, sir. Regarding those uh, zigzag lines on both the sides of the roads. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, so um, this question by Kajal. So uh, Kajal, if you uh, any time if you drive a vehicle or drive a cycle truck, uh, car, anything uh, you would like to drive, you always uh, drive your vehicle uh, by uh, through in a parallel line in the perspective of parallel lines. roads are always straight so that uh, driver can uh, draw their vehicle uh, linear and fast for the fast rapid movement so this this that line uh, reduce your concentration reduce your so not concentration reduce your speed by uh, mind that it is not a uh, straight uh, path to walk you can you have to uh, slow down your vehicle so mind automatically uh, told you about that uh, you have to reduce your speed otherwise uh, you uh, going to kahi na kahi aap takra jaoge this is the psychology uh, behind this zigzag line so it is a uh, very uh, big uh, intervention in the uh, i seen this in multiple countries in singapore and uh, in switzerland and uh, a 
other countries also they are uh, using in uh, their main major roads also and uh, the uh, uh, minor roads also yes yes sir so there is another question uh, by one uh, uh, miss khati tewari uh, in the second example was there another alternative parking provision available if not how will it be ensured that it doesn't go back to the scenario before the in intervention was implemented i think i think uh, you didn't see the video <laughs> completely or properly so uh, and this is my fault also that i am not uh, represented at all the uh, presentation for the second tactical so uh, we planned this in that way we counted the uh, park vehicle uh, of the community there that how much uh, two wheeler are there and how much four wheeler are there and how much illegal parking are there that the vehicle is not belong to the uh, community over there so we uh, rectify this and we if you if you see uh, the entire plan uh, along the uh, side of the residen residences wall there are some parking pro provision for the two wheeler and uh, in the front of the street there is a five parking provision for the uh, five six cars over there so th these are sufficient for them for for this for this stop uh, at least uh, because they are having uh, five cars there and some uh, 25 to 30 uh, vehicles there so uh, are you vehicles in a proper way and to uh, make the streets uh, Uh, yes, sir. yes sir and sir there is one comment by architect rajesh agarwal he is from gwalior and uh, uh, because he is from uh, this umrait region of uh, gujarat he has been a constant guest for all our webinars he has a comment although the proposal is good and looks quite ornamental but how many such solutions are made in the city of udaipur in a country like us do where do we find so much of area and at every place how do we manage these funds okay uh, ma'am can you please uh, come again with the question uh, sir he is saying that it the the solution looks quite good and ornamental but he is also worrying about in a country like india uh, where do we find so much of area and how do we find funds to implement such solutions sir so in the starting of this presentation uh, i'll i uh, showcase three kind of solutions over there one is bankable one is pilot and one uh, is tactical so tactical is the uh, lower lowest bottom of the pyramid you do not need much funds for that if uh, if if we if we are if we are talking about the with own intervention it is a matter of around 1 uh, and 1/2 lakh or uh, 2 lakh maximum so if uh, municipal corporation need to change make the make the uh, make over the change this this space for the pedestrian uh, pedestrian safety and uh, they think over that the uh, permanent solution like uh, uh, foot over bridge so it was around sir 5 crores which is nothing uh, uh, and 1.1.5 uh, like is nothing in front of that cost so yeah. this is the answer for your funds and uh, uh, how much such solutions what was that how much the solutions are made in the city of jaipur so i just seen uh, if you uh, to example there are a number of solutions which was uh, 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 which which we did last year and uh, adopted by the municipal corporation and uh, in a country like we do not find that much area so that it is a very uh, less area and uh, very small area where we did this intervention so i don't think this is a uh, correct question uh yes sir, sir there are two questions regarding the paints on the road one of the persons mr rishi saha saha ji is asking that what were the paints what was the quality and what was its durability and again one of our student is saying that because of the wear and tear and friction on the road uh, what will be the maintenance level of these paintings on the ground uh, so 
again these are very uh, wrong question after seeing this uh, uh, whole presentation sorry uh, i am using this kind of words uh, because starting uh, i uh, i uh, showcase the definition i uh, told uh, you the word tactical and urbanism uh, tactical means a short term temporary low cost solution so can't use for the temporary solution we know after 7 or 15 days uh, it will to uh, demolish from uh, there or vanish vanish from there so this this kind of solution we use to change the mindset of government and communities as i uh, said previously so uh, sir uh, these all are temporary tactical means temporary tactical means you do something uh, you get some some results and uh, uh, you think about the scalability of that thing so tactical help you uh, to uh understand uh, a long term solution to a uh, small uh, change so so thank you so much sir for your informative presentation and i think our principal professor selesh nayar has joined in so i would just request him to uh, talk about the presentation and uh, just uh, uh, give him give some views uh, to bhupendra sir Hello. Hello. Yeah. Bhupendra, this is Sahilesh Nai. Actually, I was not able to attend the entire uh, presentation, but I see it feels that from your entire videos, I saw the videos, and afterwards I saw the uh, the road and all these things. I think it seems to be very interesting, and I like the short-term solutions which you showed because it is very much necessary for changing the mindset. Actually, we don't have problem with the designs. competitive or uh, designs but unless and until we change the mindset of the people things are not going to work especially so especially very especially very good exercises which you have shown i think the students can also benefit from this so thank you very much for arranging this webinar thank you sir thank you hello Yes, sir. You are audible. Yeah, yeah. So I think it was a good session. Ah, uh, thank you, Bhupender, for sharing this uh, quick videos also because we are also planning some similar exercise for our urban design students. And I am very happy this time and uh, place where you have shown the students. It will definitely help them to. concretize their proposal and do some uh, graphical presentation which you showed they can adopt some some learnings from that and they will definitely do some good work after seeing your presentation that whatever we draw it can be possible to implement in a same exact manner which we can plan and that was the best uh, example we can take from this lecture so thank you again for sharing your valuable knowledge and time with us So uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you for uh, you know. Just uh, ask a lot for the students, for all the students. So uh, I am available uh, always for the students to, to help them out. And uh, uh, if if uh, I uh, I want to say about the technical, so uh, if you start doing any exercise or the technical organization for any technical evaluation, please uh, make your mind. About the strategy first, and what you are going to do, and what will will be the impact of this exercise. So these things are very important to do uh, any kind of exercise. So uh, okay, thank you, all the participants for joining this webinar. And Taha sir, we can we can remind everybody to be present on Sunday for the last presentation on urban planning series. uh on sunday morning it is yeah. on sunday morning so we would request everybody to be present and uh, that would be the last of our urban planning series so please be there and thank you so much again bhupendra sir it, we really enjoyed your presentation